think I've found the one that I want you to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Show me. Okay. Here it is. Oh my God. What is my inspiration? <laughs> friends. Hello, our friends. Oh, it's one of those videos where it's like, where on earth do we start? The Rimsies. If you don't know what the Rimsies is, oh. feel free to check out this footage on screen. This is one of like the most iconic videos on Doodle Date, so make sure you check it out. This is peak Doodle Date <laughs> lore. That yeah, is this true. is peak lore, and we are finally delving back into this because the Rimsies had its very own miniature card game. And They're I'll, tiny! So I need to firstly like carefully unbox them without like tearing any of the paper or anything because mm. it was made with like printer paper. I made this in like 2003. Oh my god. So and up here it says Miami and this is what we are going to be focusing on in this, this episode. This was the name of your trading card game, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So oh here, god, there they are! Here's all the miniature packs of the Miami cards. I love it. And we will be going through these and uh, then picking one and redrawing it. Oh, okay. I have to say, it's quite an honor that you're trusting me to redraw something that you've cherished <laughs> for like 20 years. That's like, that's a lot of trust. Hey, you. Now, before we get into this, can I just mention something. 15 pounds! <laughs> Do you know how much that would be for inflation now? That's like so I like how you've put words on it as well. 15 pounds, in case you were confused. I put a lot of effort into these. Okay. Each one was hand-drawn. Well, that's true. Each one is unique. That's okay, true. so because in the past Rimsies videos, I had to kind of like rush through everything and it's all like very reflective in these like plasticky in folders. The little plastic. yeah. So it'll be nice to properly like take our time with this to show you. Look at those. What I've done is I've used like blue tack slash white tack to uh, stick these together oh, and then oh, we'll be able to so open these up and there's actual real oh, cards oh inside. Oh I love that one. Oh my god. It's called Hobble. Look how tiny these are like next to This like, is very you, very tiny. Here is the white tie. So before I get into fully unboxing like all of these because I'm gonna have to freshen them up with some new white tack because the stuff is like falling apart. We've also Ooh, got oh my gosh. a checklist of like all the characters so you could mark them off. This is like, oh my, I'm getting like the rims is mind blown feeling again. This is so in depth. <laughs> <laughs> then this was the uh, Rimsies playing mat and you had to battle against like these gym characters. Oh, and Tom. if you won, you got the badge and they've each got like their own badge. Which no. This has raised another question. Mm -hmm. Were you perhaps inspired by Pokemon? So this was around the time, obviously, when Pokemon was really big. Yeah. But it was also when uh, Inuyasha was oh, like gosh. a really big thing. Whoa. So I think it might have some inspiration from that. Although I didn't like watch much of Inuyasha, but I did have a couple of like the cards. Oh, oh I wrote the rolls down. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I couldn't re remember what the rolls were. Can you read rolls. Them? Put all your cards face down. Pull off the top one. This is your card. If the number is higher than the opponent's, take the badge and go on to the next opponent. If both numbers are the same, take off another card, etc. You can figure it out. It's a very basic game. What can I say? I was like, uh, uh, 12 when I made this. Let me say though, the amount of brain power and like, <laughs> th like thought and planning for a 12 year old, it's still very impressive. I want to see Adam redraw my, uh, Jim characters, because he's really into like the anime art style. Oh, Ash Tina, that's a cute name. Tom, that's all right. And Hanny. Um, oh gosh, there's more. John, Caitlin. Aww. <laughs> These are adorable. Yeah, I'm very excited to try this. Oh, I see how I've done this. So I've cut these like in half, like a little book, and then oh, I've yeah, used the white tack to like hold it together. Should we have a quick look at who some of these cards oh, are? Oh yes, yeah, show me. Hobble. Oh, I really like, I'm a big fan of Hobble, look at him. Silent Squid. You know, if I say any Silent Squid, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> Kongi. Oh, is he like a monkey? Yeah, he's a monkey. Okay. I'll quickly just go through and do this for them all. Oh yeah, we'll okay. Pull out like the designs. Now, I want to spice things up a little bit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pick the one that you want me to do? Oh, that'll be exciting. <laughs> yeah, you want to try that? One eternity later. Look at all of these. <laughs> I can't get over 
how many there are. I mean, look, there's even duplicates, yeah, which I I've, thought was very immersive. I've drawn like some duplicates. I've noticed Come that on. some of them are cards that these characters have. So like, we've got this one, he's called uh, like, I think he's called Beady or is he Beadle? I think it's BD, uh, isn't it? Beedle. Yeah, because we've got some cards of him over here. And that's Beady Boy. Let's have a quick look through at uh, um, oh, a bunch of these characters. Oh, we're going to explore the characters. I'm so excited. <laughs> Some of these are more creative than others. Okay. That's like, fine. Uh, first, we've got Dingo. He is blue and he wears sunglasses. Is he a mouse? <laughs> He's a what? Dingo. Oh. <laughs> we have Bog Eye. <laughs> no, I ain't going to ask. I'm not going to even ask what that is. Queen Bee. She's very oh. common. We've got three versions over here. We have three queens. Drawn in whichever art supplies I had handy with me at oh, the time. Oh, that's really sweet though, I like that. Look, this one's so classic Steph designed. It's called the mushroom and it's a mushroom with a face. Why is he so angry? <laughs> oh my word. Oh, this one's a bit horrifying. It's just called evil clown. Oh God, he's angry as well. You love, you love drawing angry things. This one is called Bo, and he's screaming. Oh, I love him! <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Zoig. <laughs> Coochie. <laughs> oh, Coochie, Coochie! The Light Angel. Oh, good for her. Tick. He's a clock with glasses and a moustache. Oh, we got Bebo. Bebo? Oh, he looks cool. He reminds me of a hamster. I was just thinking it looks like one of the hamsters. Bloodsucker. <laughs> Oh, he's a vampire! He's a Kill a cobra. <laughs> Kill a cobra? Where did that come from? Oh my god! <laughs> like I said, some are more imaginative than others. Oh my gosh, this one's called uh, Ghostfish. And I remember w back when I was doing Inktober Monsters, we'll have to put it up on screen. Yeah, yeah. I did a, you ghost did a ghost fish, fish. <laughs> yeah. Ghostfish lives. Oh, this one's called Shadow. Oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. That's a creepy one. We've also got sea dog. <laughs> Two sea dogs. Is, is a sea dog just a seal? No, sea dog is like a dog mermaid. Oh, okay. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. We've got Ethel. It's his mouth open as well. You look yeah. to draw characters screaming, don't you? We've got Sephiron. He's like some kind of like a dog <laughs> or a wolf with a crown on. <laughs> oh, like throne. That's pretty <laughs> smart, actually. I like that. That's a good one. We've got Wilfred. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> he's a wizard. <laughs> I've got Hungry Leo. Oh, he's a lion. Oh, is he winking? <laughs> Leo, you, you tease. Lost Soul. Oh, that's that's sad. Oh, <laughs> he's in a bottle. I used to love drawing that. I think there's a few of those. Oh my God. <laughs> I used to love collecting Lost Souls. Bunny Hopper. <laughs> oh, is that like his rap name? <laughs> Fat Cat. Oh, <laughs> a classic. Has he got a biscuit? I think it's a coin. <laughs> oh, but it might be a biscuit, actually. Got Crazy Daisy. Oh, she's like a flower. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's crazy. <laughs> 3D power. <laughs> <laughs> this one that I think is pretty cool. He's called the Digi Snowman. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Dancing Hippo? A dancing Hippo. Does he have an umbrella? <laughs> yeah. Is it, oh, is he like singing in the rain? <laughs> Is that what he's doing? But he's dancing, not singing. It's Pink Hippo. Hairy Beast. Oh, same. <laughs> oh, I like him. He's kind of cool. We also have Goblin Blue. He looks very unimpressed. <laughs> I see you. I quite like that one. Oh, that's a cute. I like that. That's clever. Yeah. This one is Warlock. <laughs> That just looks like someone like you would see on the street. I know, it just looks like someone that I'd go to school with or something. <laughs> Flip it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> Tinbot. Oh, he's kind of cool looking too. Now, he does have quite a lot of blue tack on him, but he was blue and orange. Got legs. <laughs> that's just a spider. It's got way more legs than a spider. Oh, okay. We've got slivers. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent slivers. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, this one's a spooky one. Oh wow, that's like modern art. Look at that. <laughs> the red demon. <laughs> this one. It's meant to be like a puffer fish and it's called puffy. <laughs> yeah. Puffy! Poison ivy. 
who seems to have some kind of like a poison potion in her hand. And she looks very upset. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Lonely Princess. Oh, that's cute. Now this one, I think it was inspired by, was it Goosebumps or was it Are You Afraid of the Dark? Those were both like iconic like TV series oh, yeah, around this time. time. Might have been Goosebumps. There was one where the boy, he turned into like a dog and I thought that was so iconic. Oh yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> yeah. So this one I've just called it Two-Face and it's like some kind of like a werewolf guy. And <laughs> I think I've found the one that I want you to do. Oh no. Might not make sense to anyone else, but we can explain. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, show me. Okay, here it is. Oh my God, what is my inspiration? <laughs> Know me? Now, you, if you, you didn't know, know, Adam as a child, one of his uh, childhood friends reached out to us and sent us a bunch of artwork that Adam had drawn. And it's all gnome themed. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, I found a bunch of Adam's old drawings. I thought it'd be cool if you showed them on the channel at some point. Oh. But it was when Adam was going through his gnome face. <laughs> What a better opportunity for Adam to recreate a card than to experience his gnome face. <laughs> Thanks, Nomi. Now then, as you might have seen, we've got the perfect, look, look how cute this is. It's Bristol board, but it's like in the shape of trading cards. Like, look at that. It's the perfect size. It's adorable, look at that. It's adorable, I love it. Now then, I've got my beautiful gnomestration here, honey. Gnomestration. <laughs> <laughs> and because Steph's like busted out the ahoo-hoos today, I figured I could try and line it and uh, then put some color on it. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Wow, I reckon you're gonna have yours finished before I've even started mine. What can I say when you present me with a gnome? <laughs> the inspiration clearly just hits me. I never thought I'd ever have the pleasure of watching you draw a gnome in your style. <laughs> so this is a real treat for me. Are you kidding me? I wanted to give him big fuzzy brows, just like the OG gnome They're very open for interpretation because they were so miniature. <laughs> it was stuff like this that really helped along with the autism diagnosis. Yeah, well that, I'm yeah. <laughs> God, if you, when you were in therapy, God, imagine if you shown this to him. Like, oh yeah, here's, here's my uh, my imaginary world that has an economy and taxes and its own <laughs> card game. It's like, what? Okay, I have chosen Tinbot because for a moment we thought we'd lost Tinbot to the sands of time, but it turns out he was hiding in someone's house. It turns out Tinbot's a mortal. And I was thinking because it would be fun to kind of like redesign these, uh, what I want to have a go at doing, because this one, it's shaped very like your sort of standard robot. Yeah. But I was thinking, I want to play more into the word tin. Maybe there could be like a whole like series of tin bots. Ooh. And I quite like the idea of doing one shaped like a spam. Spam bot. <laughs> and in case you didn't know as well, I do have a tremor in uh, my hand, so if I seem a bit wobbly, that's why. She's just filled with excitement. <laughs> I know Miami some people card. think that it is something like that. I think that's quite endearing though. I find with my tremor, it's easier to like spin my artwork around, which I know is like a less aesthetic for when you're watching. But it just helps me have a bit more control. Oh, you guys don't mind that, right? I like how it's like, it looks like a mug shot, like, um, Spambot's committed crimes and this is his mascot. And we've actually been sent by someone, uh, I believe it's Beatrice, I'll have to double check, but um, a build your own tin can robot. <gasps> we could make a real life Yeah, tin we could actually make a real like oh tin God. bot. <laughs> Guys, like the video if you want to see like a real life tin bot. <laughs> It's Miami cards going into like physical merch, that'd be amazing. <laughs> this is from Winter Crane. And it's a trading card folder. Oh, that's amazing, look at that. So we can put our Miami cards in it. 
That's so cool. <laughs> so oh, thank you God. so much, Winter Crane. I yeah. am, just imagine Spambot's gonna oh be in God. one of these. That's such a cute idea. <laughs> I love that. So here he is, the legend Nomi. And I've busted out the pastel hoo-hoos because I want to give him a cottage core kind of vibe. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, cottage core. I was gonna say we've got the bright colours down here as well. Now, I feel like Nomi, he's um he's mad, but he appreciates like the pastel aesthetic. Ooh, what have you got here, hun? Okay, the lighting might be different because this is later on, but I found more uh Miami law and it felt a shame to miss it out. <laughs> So basically, this is the cinema ticket office, mm -hmm. and I've used plastic here. I so love that. Can, and this like opens up so you can go behind there and buy like Coca Cola and popcorn <laughs> and stuff. This ticket stall here, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, he's got a movie up here, and it's Miami, and it's five pounds to go and see Miami. The Miami movie. And if we rotate it the other way. The uh, cinema is showing the Miami movie, and you'll probably recognize some of the characters on that screen. Oh my there. god. And these are meant to be the chairs, but all the characters are facing forward, so they're technically not watching the movie, and that was always like, a problem with Ramsey's that I was irritated <laughs> about. And I did come up with a, a reverse, like, engineered plan where I was going to draw a front and back for all the characters. That's so, so clever. So that you'd be able to, like, slot them in the chairs so that they face the other oh. way. Now then, let's try and find something that would complement those colors. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe a yellowy grey. Because I don't want it. I don't want like his trousers and his gloves to be too dark. Because it'll go against his whole aesthetic. Nomi would be very upset if his cottage core aesthetic was threatened. I mean, do you want to threaten this man? This is the face of a man that will retaliate if threatened. In fact, what I might do is give him a shiny nose. <laughs> and I would have to see if there's any kind of like maybe a warm grey that I could add some shade into his beard or something. I think. The colour you're using is kind of like a warm grey. Oh, is it really? <laughs> Adam's colourblind. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on, do I, today? Well, this is Nomi when the rigor mortis has settled in. He died oh. this way. He could have a pink beard. Why not? Well, he's cottage car. Yeah. He can do what he wants. <laughs> he can do what he wants. He's dead. <laughs> he can do whatever you want. He's dead. So maybe just some, like, uh, just some, like, beardy shading bits, you know? It's like his beard's made out of candy floss now. <gasps> oh my god, that's adorable. I love that. <laughs> that's great. Now, I've been told that we've got some extra finishing touches here. Yes, we've got one more surprise for the end of this video. Ooh, that's so good! <laughs> now, this was sent to us by our friend Fedrin, so thank you so much, Thank Fedrin. you, yeah. Now, this is like holographic paper. The reason I originally got hold of this, we might have to like do some close-up effects to probably yeah, yeah, show yeah. what it can do because there's three different designs on it. I got it because um, Adam likes using screen tone and I thought he'd be able to use it in like a holographic kind of way. I'm excited. I've cool? never used this before, so I'm really excited. But I was thinking, won't this be great for making our cards shiny? That's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, so, so imagine like Nomi over here, but with like a holographic butterfly on top. Oh, I am using that one. <laughs> I have an idea as to what I want to use. Okay, here it is. I'm a little bit nervous now. Why am I nervous? It's just paper. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna stick it on like there. There's probably better ways to do this. If you guys have done this before and you know of a cool way, uh, comment down below and let us know. Oh my god! That's so cool! <laughs> That's nuts. He's part of the official collection. They're going in! Oh my god! Oh my god, please fit. Come on, Miami. Oh, Come look on. at that! Oh, don't forget my buddy Nomi. There we go. Oh my god, it's official, look at it! We've got our own trading card folder. <laughs> So what do you think of our Miami card reconstruction? Do click on the video of the Rimsies on screen if you haven't watched it yet. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Dirt. Doodle Dirt!